Good morning to all and a warm welcome to you all for the webinar. Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kamarupini Vidyarambam Karishambi Siddhir Bhavatu Mesada. By seeking the blessings of Goddess Saraswati, we will start a webinar on orientation session on Institute's Innovation Council by Innovation Ambassador organized by Internal Quality Assurance Cell and NCET Institute's Innovation Council. Innovation is creating new value or capturing value in a new way. Ministry of Education, Government of India has established MOE's Innovation Cell to systematically foster the culture of innovation amongst all higher education institutions. The primary objective of NCT IIC is to encourage, inspire and nurture young students to create a vibrant local innovation ecosystem in the campus. To achieve this, we are organizing various innovation and entrepreneurship related activities prescribed by Central MIC in time bound fashion. We also propose to organize hackathons, idea competition, mini challenges, etc. with the involvement of industries. MIC has envisioned encouraging creation of institutions innovation council across selected higher education institutions and our college is one among them. In line with the objective set by NCT IIC, we are conducting this webinar on the theme orientation with a topic on orientation session on Institute's Innovation Council by Innovation Ambassador. I welcome our Chairman Shri J. V. Rangaraju Sir, CEO Chaitanya Verma Sir, CEO Banu Chaitanya Ma'am and Director NES Dr. S. G. Gopal Krishna Sir. I cordially welcome our beloved principal, Dr. Jitendranatha Mungara, who is the source of inspiration and strength to all our activities. It is a privilege to welcome you, sir. RT, welcome, sir. I am delighted to welcome our today's speaker and resource person, Dr. S. Mohan Kumar, Professor and Dean, IQAC. RT, welcome, sir. Thank you. I am delighted to welcome Dr. Muthu Kumar, Professor and Dean, R&D. RT, welcome, sir. Yeah, very good morning. I am delighted to welcome Dr. Dinesh H.A., Professor and H.O.D., CSE Department. RT, welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted to welcome Professor Satyanarayana Raju, H.O.D., H.O.D., Higher Education and Career Guidance Cell. RT, welcome you, sir. Thank you, Professor Shukhinaya. I also welcome Dr. Eshwan Tem, President, NCET IIC, and the convener, Professor Y.S. Balaji. RT, welcome you, sir. I extend Thank my... You. Thank you. Thank you. I extend I my extend warm welcome to organizing committee members, IIC, for their valuable contribution. I welcome all the HODs, staff, participants and students to this webinar. Now I request Mr. Ranjan Manish, Ed, Tribalai and Innovation Cell to speak few words about the webinar. Thank you very much, uh, Vishwati, uh, for being on the platform. Yes, sir, fact, thank it's you. It's a very welcome occasion for all of us uh, to be a part yes. of this inaugural session of uh, Innovation Cell. And first of all, we need to understand four things very clearly. Firstly, like what is innovation all about? Secondly, does the college or the university per se, does it require innovation? Thirdly, does the country require any kind of innovation? And finally, what we need to understand is whether do we as college, as a university or as a country have the potential to do innovation? So going for like, uh, what is innovation all about? So when we talk about innovation, it is more about meaning. It should be meaningful. We should not be running after money when we talk about innovation. Any product or any service, what we are talking about, 
it should have a lot of meaning in it. Like today, when they built up this WhatsApp, it was just a team of members which has created a billion dollar company. So it had a meaning, a deep meaning in it where it had a vision to connect the entire world with messages, chats, stickers, whatever. So it was very meaningful and that's the reason why it could lay its foundation in such a big way. Secondly, it should have a mantra rather than a big vision or a mission. So when we talk about a mantra, like you must have heard about Nike, the shoe company. It has got a simple mantra, just do it. So if you talk about Amazon, you talk about work hard, have fun and make history. Similarly, when you talk about Microsoft, the new mantra what it has created is be what next. So mantra is more important rather than creating a big vision, a big mission. That mantra is something which pumps your heart, which pumps your desire to do something which has not been done earlier. So we are talking about innovation. It is not about something which has already been done. It is not about streamlining the things. It is about thinking out of the box and doing some things which was not there. It is about creating new ideas which the society needs to be and working upon them. The next thing, the most important thing is it should have a curve. It should not be that I formed the idea and the ideation remain at ideation. The ideation should go to a prototype, the ideation should go to a product and the ideation should be sold. So there should be layers of ideation. There should be layers of compilation of the ideation. The ideation should be accepted by the society as such. Every one of you would have heard about Industry 4.0. But how many of you are aware of, about uh, ICE 3.0? When we talk about ICE 3.0, if you go back to some time, in fact, when people wanted ICE, they used to wait for this winter season when ICE used to form in the lakes and the ICE used to be cut and it was called as ICE harvesting. So it was similar like farming wherein the ICE was cut into pieces, put into bullock carts and then it was transported to places. After that, it, the ICE 2.0 came, wherein like what people started doing is like they, they uh, basically made ice factories and they started storing uh, ice in these factories. And finally, we came with the concept of ref refrigeration. So this is where innovation was important. And today, like uh, every household has a refrigerator and ice has become uh, one of the easiest components of life, um, of our life rather. Easily, we open our refrigerator door and we get the rice, um, uh, we get the ice rather. It's as easy as getting the rice rather. So that is what I'm trying to tell. It's, it was a very difficult and complex problem at one point of time. And today, like with innovation, it has become one of the easiest things. The fourth most, most important thing is uh, it should be customer-centric and empathetic to the customers. Before and understanding what the customer requires, uh, if I innovate the product, the product might be very good. But if it doesn't have the marketability, the product will not sustain for long. So the product parallelly should be unique as well as it should be marketable. That is what is called as true innovation. Next is that there should be a number of ideas if we have to come out with innovation. If we tell that we just have to have one particular idea and with that, if some innovation comes, it's not going to be like that. There has to be multiple thoughts, multiple ideas. So there should be hundred flowers should be born and out of that one flower, one beautiful flower will blossom at one point of time. And that is what innovation is all about. It is try, try, try again until at last you succeed. So it's not that easy kind of kind of job where like we come out with innovation. It has to be something where we have to work out of our skin if we really have to innovate. One more very important aspect, and probably this would be the last one before I move to the other point. Don't try to be a perfectionist when you are trying to innovate. Even when you talk about the laptops, what we are using today, 
the best of laptops so when the first laptop came or when even uh, the big size laptops were there or before that the desktops were there or even for that matter the tv what we have seen the black and white tv the color tv the lcd the led and today the oled so all these uh, range of tv what we have seen in our generation i remember seeing the black and white tv and today i am also seeing the oled so the innovations at every step we are talking about this is what is important so at the first step if you would if you would have been thought to be a perfectionist and we would have tried to invent a oled probably it was not possible so that step by step step by step improvement and improvisations of the product has led us to make, make this oled today so this is what innovation in a nutshell is all about i'm sure like Ramon and the other speakers will talk more in depth about what innovation is and how it is going to help the society, the college as a whole. But in a nutshell, as a layman, if we have to understand innovation, this is what it talks about. Now, coming to whether the college requires innovation today. Of course, the college requires research and development. The college requires quality and the college requires innovation in equal measures. Now, what is testimony to that, how we can say with so much of confidence that the college requires innovation. It's very simple. The same NIRF ranking which has been running from long, long time, that is the National Institute of Ranking Framework, the only one ranking which has been given by the government, <clears throat> has probably been taken over by ARIA today. That is the ranking of institutes, innovation, uh, which has been laid today. And the ARIA ranking today is considered more important than the NIRF ranking. So that itself lays the stress upon the research and development, that itself lays the stress upon quality, and that itself lays the stress upon innovation. So definitely, we have to start innovating, we have to start thinking out of our skins and out of our box. So the need of the R is that. Secondly, even if you talk about the national education policy, which has just been rolled out uh, one year back, uh, even the institutes have been categorized in several layers, and the topmost layer of institute, uh, which we are talking about, uh, will be the institute which is the best in research and development. Those will be in the highest categories uh, once the categorization and the streamlining is done. So, of course, r and innovation, again, carries a lot of weight when a college has to look northwards and we have to grow as a college, as a university. So, coming to the country as such, yes, if we have to be one of the developing countries, we need to be innovative. Why I'm saying so? Today, if you see at some of the statistics, only 0.69 or 68% of our GDP, GDP is being spent upon our innovation and r and I'm talking about our country. Whereas if you talk about US, it is around 2.8%. And if you talk about Israel, it is about 4.3 or 4.2%. Even for that matter, South Korea is around 4.2% or 4.3%. So the more you pump in, in your innovations, the more better you become as a country and you start rubbing your shoulders with the best of the economies. But if we are not putting our foot forward as of now, as on today, we will be left far, far behind. So this is the time, guys. This is the time, folks. We have to start thinking and doing something different. Now, coming to potential, yes, we do have the potential to do it. Today, if we are talking about our country, we are having around 38,000 Active startups, I would say, there would be multiple startups, but around 38,000 active startups are there, around 5,500 active investors are there. And even in that, if you see, like, we are talking about Bangalore, this is considered to be the step capital of India. And today, in Bangalore alone, one third of the startups are existing, around 13,000 plus startups are existing in Bangalore. So, if Bangalore can have 13,000 startups. Why can't Nagarjuna have just 30 startups to start with? It is very, very easy. It is not tough. Yes, it's tough. Then think about it. But once we start doing it, just do it. Again, I'm repeating. 
but nike says just do it so once we start doing it it's not going to be that tough as what we perceive to be so we do have the potential and we can definitely do it if we really want to do it and our team is strong enough today i am sure like each one of us knows the profile of everyone of us being here on this platform so our team is strong enough to actually push across and cut into all corners and ensure that we are one of the best institutes in terms of innovation and r&d and quality per se so the thing is we are already in aria b grade now next target should be aria a grade and everything else whatever is going to be there with respect to innovation and research so i would like to end by just saying one tagline as such amazon has used a tagline google has used a tagline microsoft has used a tagline nike has used a tagline so my tagline would be innovation or elimination either you innovate or you eliminate from the race i would like to end here, end the friends and uh, over to the other speakers i'm sure like it's going to be a very very interesting and full session and we definitely want to learn a lot out of this sir. thank you so much thank you sir for uh, sharing your innovative information thank you sir now i request mr balaji assistant professor mechanical department to introduce the resource person professor balaji yes sir thank you professor bala yes sir before uh, introduction uh, 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 father uh, yes sir sir uh, shall we take one screenshot sir first uh, by i request all the participants to turn on the video Okay. I request uh, Satna and Raju sir to speak few words about the webinar. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning. I mean, it's just all about to put the um, put the market in the mood. Good morning. Am I audible? Some disturbance is there, sir. The voice is breaking. Voice is breaking. Am I audible? Am I audible? Sir, my voice is breaking. Yes, sir. The voice is breaking. The voice is breaking. Please proceed, sir. Please proceed, sir. So I have to take note. The table thoughts come from everywhere. It where it says, "I say, let us learn noble things from everywhere, and including workshops like this." I welcome and thank our principal, Dr. Dhanan Mangara sir, Dr. Mohan Kumar, Dean Pure. Dean R and D, all Chodi staff, faculty, students for giving me this wonderful opportunity to say few words for a minute or two. It gives immense pleasure to attend this global workshop of orientation held on Institute Innovation Council by Innovation Ambassador, organized by NCT Institute Innovation Council Institute of Education. I appreciate Dr. Mohan Kumar, Dean Kwe, and his team for organizing this webinar in a short notice. Uh, basically, I want to address three questions in a simplest and possible note. What is innovation? Why innovation? Innovation and engineer blended together. 
innovation is nothing but a creation resulting from study experimentation. We study a lot in the classroom, but we really experiment outside the world or inside the laboratory. My sense of suggestion to faculty and students is to break up things, break things, break it, observe your findings, and make the combination. So why innovation? Can you look around? The other is comforts you are facing is a result of great scientists and agents producing the last century. Can you imagine Microsoft, Google, or the construction technology bridges that we are using to travel across? It is a result and culmination of great scientists and engineers that India has ever produced. If you look at the engineer, what he does in the engineering college is nothing but experimentation and applying his thought and make this world more beautiful with his thoughts and ideas before you leave engineering college. So on this note, I suggest every engineer should involve R&D and innovation to make this planet most beautiful and rewarding for the children and the future generations. So on this note, I conclude my short talk by thanking and appreciating the team of ICQ and all the choices, particularly Dr. Mohan Kumar, directing this webinar, and our principal sir, and the management of NGA, NCT, staff, faculty, and students. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Go to master survey. Thank you, sir. I now request Dr. S. Mohan Kumar, sir, to take over the session. Ma'am, one uh, second, one second. Uh, Okay, sir. Yes. Uh, I am delighted. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Other headquarters are available. They wanted to talk anything about today's program. Yes, sir. 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 Am I audible, sir? Yeah, audible, yeah, sir. Dinesh. Dinesh, sir. Sir. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I request you to share a few words about the webinar, sir. Can I repeat, sir? Not so much. Balaji, sir. Sir, sir, we request you to speak few words about the webinar, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for organizing uh, such a, uh, so, you know, this is a thoughtful need of the, our uh, webinar. Actually, we want to enlighten a student and staff towards uh, practicality and uh, towards the uh, application. So this is a uh, you know, platform that is, uh, you know, which will be definitely useful. So that is the, uh, uh, without wasting time, let us give to the you know, the uh, resource uh, who can uh, you know talk and enlighten us with respect to the different verticals of uh, innovation and incubation and all the stuff. So thanks for asking me. Yeah, have a good day and have a fruitful session ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir, uh, shall we continue, sir? Mohan, sir. Yes, professor. Yes, professor. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm delighted to introduce uh, our in-house uh, resource person, Dr. S. Mohan Kumar. Uh, is a Dean Quality Assurance, Professor in uh, CSA Department, and Innovation Ambassador and Nodal Officer for NIRF and uh, ARIA in CET. Professor uh, Dr. S. Mohan Kumar, an educational leader, has to his credit an excellent track record in the fields of academic administration, research, quality assurance, educational consultancy, and also extinction activities. Professor Dr. Mohan Kumarias has two decades of experience in teaching, general administration, strategic and educational planning, and student relations in the academic sector. As an educational consultant, he is providing consultancy services to universities, science and engineering colleges to get NAC, NBA, ISO, ARIA, and NIRF accreditations, certifications, and rankings. His professional visits to countries including Spain, 
portugal russia germany thailand singapore israel hong kong and tokyo resulted in better collaborations he received ieee young achievers award in the year 2016 he received the s is seed best faculty award in the year 2017 he received the integrated uh, intelligent research society india republic day achievers award best faculty award in the year 2017 he received best faculty award in the year 2018 and research excellent award in the year 2018 he has a certificate of award from unicef global japan for carrying out vibrant activities related to satellites in the year 2019 he received iei senatory innovation award faculty advisory category in the year 2020 he received the best outgoing professor award in the year 2020 he received dean quality assurance and research excellence award in the year 2021 he received innovative quality education leadership award 2021 for his excellence and leadership in engineering education he is a dedicated resourceful and innovative mentor professor uh, dr mohan kumar s helps students change marginal grades into good grades and extends unstinted support and guidance to his colleagues dr mohan kumar s seeks to facilitate intellectual growth by creating an atmosphere of mutual respect and open communication for all his excellent interpersonal skills capability of resolving multiple and complex issues and motivating staff to peak performance makes professor mohan kumar s passionate to achieve academic and administrative excellence in science engineering and technology management education he is a microsoft certified professional sql server he completed a technical proficiency course from indian institute of science iisc bangalore he is an iso 9001 2015 uh, quality management system and 14001 uh, 2015 environmental management system certified lead auditor he has won prizes and medals for his research contributions in national and international research competitions he delivered many keynote speeches and chaired technical sessions in many international and national conferences he complete he is a author of over uh, 125 plus scholarly research and review papers including 75 plus reputed and peer reviewed uh, international journals papers with 160 plus citation index 8 plus h index and 4 i10 index He has won several research paper awards in different national and international conferences and symposiums. He received one international patent, patent grant, filed 23 patents, and published nine patents. He is a member in 10 plus leading professional societies and forums. He is reviewer and editorial board member, advisory board uh, for 24 plus reputed UGC approved international national journals, and has published six technical books and three book chapters in the field of computer science. Uh, he is editor in chief of international journal of uh, contemporary research in engineering science and management he is fellow member in iipe fellow member in ieferp senior member in computer science of uh, so computer society of india and many more professional bodies with this brief introduction i welcome uh, dr mohan kumar uh, s and we are very delighted to have you as the resource person for today's webinar welcome you sir and i request uh, Uh, you to take over the session sir thank you thank you professor wala ji for introducing me and i would like to thank uh, management principal and all uh, uh, head of the departments of uh, multi careers department of academic and non academic and the students who joined uh, in this uh, webinar and i would like to thank uh, uh, professor uh, dr jason and professor wala ji and uh, he, Uh, for offered me this chance and i would like to thank our hod for promoting this event in a very uh, grand way uh, and uh, what exactly uh, today we are going to uh, present through this uh, webinar number one as a uh, institutional uh, iic ambassador i need to facilitate what exactly the iic activities uh, are happening or Uh, need to happen. I need to brief. And as a nodal officer of uh, NAR and uh, as a nodal of, officer of uh, ARIA, how uh, students and staff members uh, can help uh, institution, department, and every individual uh, as a staff to students, as a student to staff, uh, to come up in uh, uh, different uh, innovation and entrepreneurship activities. I need to brief. 
and i need to be for uh, what exactly this uh, uh, institutions innovation self uh, uh, contribution towards uh, uh, nation names uh, 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 india's uh, uh, innovation contribution where we stand or how we can contribute we need to be and i need to brief again uh, what are the uh, innovation cell uh, institutions innovation cells promotion activities are available i need to brief so this is what uh, uh, we are going to uh, discuss or we are going to understand today through my uh, presentation so let me share my presentation professor balaji are you able to see my screen yes sir thank you thank you so ministry of uh, human resource uh, development along with ugc and acp the uh, 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 collaborated uh, activities are happening uh, uh, institutions uh, innovation cell so you can understand the uh, portal addresses uh, mhre.gov.in and uh, mic.gov.in to refer or uh, to understand what exactly this uh, institution innovation cell is uh, contributing and as i mentioned i did brief this institution innovation cell of uh, 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 our uh, uh, mhrd's uh, core uh, but what exactly they facilitate i will brief in the case of uh, uh, four categories uh, arena Uh, smart India Hackathon, Kapila, and UT are the four different categories I need to brief you. And before starting uh, to understand what exactly the Kapila, uh, Smart India Hackathon, Kapila, and UT, and how it is contributing to our uh, nation, we need to understand few highlights of uh, institutions innovation cell, central level. How many centers are there? Around two sixty six. Uh, 2692 plus institute innovation cells are available in that around 1200 entering domain institutions are having this institutions innovation cell collaboration with the central uh, department which is uh, collaborated and which is uh, facilitated by uh, ACT MHRD and UGC and 20 say, state Uh, institutions are collaborated with uh, uh, our central level institutions innovation cell, and six union territories are uh, uh, again, if we consider, they collaborated with uh, our institution innovation cell. Around four twenty universities are collaborated with institutions innovation cell of uh, central uh, level, and uh, around two thousand nineteen colleges, if we consider, they are uh, collaborated with our central level institutions innovation cell. And stand alone, around uh, 173 institutions are collaborated with the institutions innovation cell. So what exactly this uh, institutions innovation cell uh, is offering to uh, institution? So there are four different uh, uh, major uh, facilities are facilitated by this uh, uh, institutions innovation cell of uh, MHRD. Uh, they are nothing but our uh, innovation ambassador training program. So uh, very uh, frequently. And in the periodic way, they are trying to train the faculty members uh, to host the uh, institutions innovation cell activity. They are providing training programs, and they are making uh, so many uh, institutions level ambassadors to uh, uh, to promote this uh, institutions innovation cell activity. And there are uh, several impact lectures are facilitated by. Uh, MHRD's uh, institutions innovation cell. So all that are available. I'll just brief you, and uh, I'll I'll show you where exactly it is available. How to reach? How to register? How to register from uh, this MHRD's innovation cells uh, impact uh, series? As already our uh, professor and head, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Ranjit Mani, is uh, uh, in the uh, uh, industry impact and innovation cell head. 
almost we be what innovation what we need to have this innovation uh, how we going to benefit for students and what exactly uh, uh, staff members should do on all that points already professor rajesh mani he highlighted and professor rajan raju sir also he this what is innovation why we want to take it up and uh, the importance of uh, this uh, today's webinar uh, title is uh, expressed by professor dinesh uh, educational computer science and uh, as i mentioned innovation ambassador training program is offered by mhrd iit sir again in fact lecture session by uh, mhrd iit and uh, two more they are facilitating innovation contest so when core to students and staff members staff can mentor students to do innovative project it is facilitated they are funding and so many levels of scrutiny it is happening our prime minister of uh, India is coming as guest, and uh, he, he is uh, felicitating the uh, winners, student and staff members, and the students are in very good branding and value because of that. And there is one more highlight: enter multi program, uh, which is again facilitated by MSRD IIC. Uh, mentor men who have uh, good rating, who are very good at uh, uh, connecting this. Uh, Uh, institutions innovation cells activity are considered as mentor institution and they can take up many institutions along with uh, their umbrella and they can facilitate this institute innovation cell activities so who and all can be uh, uh, iic already ncet is uh, uh, institutions innovation cells member and we have established our own innovation cell our professor uh, ranjan mandish and professor uh, Just one thing, the professor Balaji are dealing with our institutions innovation cell, and uh, uh, myself and principal now we are playing a very good along with HD. What exactly uh, this institution innovation cell uh, facilitates or it affects? See, having pre-incubation centers and incubation centers uh, are very much important. If we have, it is well and good. If it is not there, we need to establish. So to establish. we can get uh, mtr institution innovation cell they only will facilitate so mentors so many industries are connected with mtr dc institute innovation cell through that we can establish pre incubation centers and incubation centers and we can establish student idea clubs so which is very much important in our ncet we have so n number of student clubs student idea clubs again it is available again we can strengthen by considering uh, the different domains and we can have student idea clubs and participation in area as the professor ranjan mani sir highlighted uh, today in today scenario only uh, 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 very authorized or recognized uh, innovation award is this uh, atal ranking of institutions on innovation Uh, is only uh, recognition or award to the institution where uh, they are considering this entrepreneurship as uh, is IPR and uh, uh, related activities. So any institution who are targeting this uh, atal ranking or who are trying to contribute uh, to the uh, institution and to the nation, we need to uh, concentrate on playing for this area. NCT is a uh, uh, atal uh, area ranked institution last uh, in last cycle we were in uh, band b and in a short while we are going to be in band a and uh, the institution who are interested to participate or participating in nir of they need to establish this institute innovation cell and they need to try to take things forward so definitely this uh, institute innovation cell contribution is utmost important and so much in demand to get this aria ranking and nir ranking of course the institution who has nbe and nac should definitely collaborate with the institutions innovation cell of mhrd and local institute innovation cell and to do better uh, collaboration and uh, better activities and other things and again and uh, in having this attitude and, and uh, definitely institution should uh, try to establish startups as other uh, professor ranjan mani sir mentioned startups are most important and so much in demand and nowadays uh, three different categories are there one is placement 
getting placements, placing students in uh, different companies. And uh, third, uh, second category is higher education, sending our students to higher education uh, to do their masters and uh, research PhD and other research programs uh, at uh, national and international level universities and colleges. That that would be our tech, second target. Our third target is creating more entrepreneurs and making uh, uh, our our uh, nation to grow. That should be our third target. So, uh, placing students, making students to go for higher studies and making uh, uh, more entrepreneurs are core areas in the case of uh, institution. So, for that also, this institute innovation cell of uh, uh, MHRD and local institute innovation cell will facilitate. So, these are the core reasons we need to uh, have this uh, institution innovation cell activities. So the areas which uh, we need to concentrate are, uh, are programs and activities and IPR, innovation, startup and entrepreneurs. So these are four core uh, activities we need to concentrate. Again, I'm repeating programs and activities on IPR, innovation, third one is startup, and fourth one is entrepreneurship. So, as a, as a institute innovation cell uh, contributor or as an institute innovation cell uh, of uh, institution, we need to focus on this uh, uh, activities: IPR activity, innovation activity, startup activity, and entrepreneurship activity. And uh, what exactly other measures we need to consider means already I mentioned pre incubation and incubation infrastructure and facilities to support innovation and entrepreneurship that we need to ensure so how we will ensure that we will discuss later but we need to ensure free incubation incubation infrastructure and facilities to support innovation and entrepreneurship in the case of institute innovation cell and the third point which we need to understand is annual budgets in turn promoting and supporting uh, uh, innovation and entrepreneurship activities that also we need to highlight and the institution's innovation cell should concentrate on uh, this uh, criteria, annual budget, annual budget spend on promoting and supporting innovation and entrepreneurship activities. So innovation just uh, uh, will not happen as the professor mentioned. So innovation and entrepreneurship together it should happen. We need to have so many collaborations and we need to uh, have so many training programs. Uh, we need to plan different activities. We wanted to train students, yeah, we need to train staff members, and uh, we need to have advisory committees from industry, uh, from uh, research institutions to uh, establish our object. And uh, we need to support, if we consider, we need to uh, have uh, courses on innovation, uh, IPR, and uh, entrepreneurship development. This is also a core theme. If we claim we have institutions innovation cell, this should ensure that we are offering courses on innovation, IPR, and entrepreneurship development. So this is our four criteria which we need to concentrate on. And four, if we, uh, uh, if we consider, uh, already I mentioned, we wanted to have activities, we wanted to have incubation, incubation infrastructure facilities, and we need to support innovation and entrepreneurship. We need to have budget, and uh, we need to have courses. So if we have all that, definitely, uh, we, we can move forward to next level, intellectual property, technology transfer, and commercialization. So this also institute innovation should ensure. So ultimately, what, we, what is the outcome of uh, innovation and entrepreneurship? Outcome is nothing but uh, creating intellectual property and uh, uh, doing technology transfer and commercialization. So that is very core area. And if we consider all this NRF or uh, ARIA ranking, Almost 35 to 32 to 35 percentage of weight is given to this uh, commercialization, technology transfer, and intellectual property. So, here institutions innovation shell should facilitate by having the right team members, student team members, and staff team members, and uh, need to achieve this goal. And successful innovation, next, if we consider category or criteria, successful innovation in startups and funding innovation in startups are next. Uh, uh, criteria or category where institutions innovation should concentrate successful innovation and all that innovation can uh, uh, establish very good startups and to that uh, startups uh, we can generate a very good funding 
and uh, uh, they uh, the uh, people who are involved the inventors can uh, generate uh, funding through this innovation and uh, startups so that should be the uh, uh, criteria to uh, uh, establish uh, to collaborate all these uh, mentioned activities okay so we know we discuss what is uh, this innovation cell what all the promoting activities uh, by central mrd institute in innovation cell four points we discuss innovation in the program impact sector session innovation contest enter twenty program so if we consider the uh, uh, why we need to have innovation cell to achieve nrf to achieve aria to uh, uh, establish student idea clubs uh, to have very good collaboration and very good research innovation and entrepreneurship activity through the separate incubation centers and incubation centers and uh, if we want to generate uh, uh, fund we can uh, definitely we can uh, go for this institutions innovation cell collaboration and uh, uh, who are all involved the government government aided and these universities are also involved and i had presented what exactly the statistics of the institutions collaborated in engineering domain how many are there in the union territories how many uh, are having this institutions innovation cell through this much are the now we discussed and what exactly the four areas uh, as an institution innovation cell we need to uh, adopt that we discussed so how it is possible to implement to uh, and achieve this it is possible to all the six criteria circuit which i uh, uh, which i mentioned and once again i want to recall the six points which uh, need to be concentrated uh, by the institution innovation cell and we need to have a very good student team and very good uh, uh, staff member team student and staff member should collaborate and uh, should uh, establish startups there is a different uh, staff policy for student and staff members so the professors who are working in our college or in any college can collaborate with any uh, institution innovation cell of uh, mhrd and not only institution innovation cell of mhrd our local center also Uh, we can have collaboration. We can have a number of activities. I'll I'll just go what and all we need to concentrate. We need to establish or we need to conduct activities, programs, and activities on idea, innovation, startup, and entrepreneurship. And we need to concentrate on establishing and facilitating the infrastructure for incubation and incubation uh, centers and to uh, support this innovation and entrepreneurship activities. And we need to have a special budget. Uh, for funding uh, 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 and promoting and supporting uh, innovation and entrepreneurship activities, and we need to conduct so many uh, uh, courses related to innovation, IPR, thinking, entrepreneurship development. We uh, are core uh, innovation cell activity uh, our objective, and uh, uh, we need to uh, very very core is the uh, intellectual property, knowledge transfer, and commercialization should be our uh, again uh, uh, our core objective. that we have more weight and successful innovation startups innovation startups we need to create and we need to generate money through this uh, startups and uh, innovation uh, teams so that should be our four areas okay all this we are we are uh, we wanted to have through our institute innovation set yes i agree you also you you may be understood what what exactly the reason why we wanted to have okay what are now the major features of of this uh, iic of federal level and iic of ntet no major capital investment required so iic programs make use of uh, institute existing infrastructure to foster the culture of uh, uh, innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem in the campus so without investing much money without investing more uh, funding so whatever infrastructure facility is available through that only the central level uh mhrd is iac is facilitating us to have all the uh, uh, mentioned six categories of things related related to innovation entrepreneurship and uh, uh, and startups so this is the uh, feature of uh, uh, mhrd is iac and all these features are utilized by all uh, uh, institutional level uh, local uh, institutions innovation cell and exclusive ftp and student development the faculty development programs and student development programs for iic like the innovation ambassador training program i highlighted already mentoring sessions will be there uh, highly qualified and experienced domain experts are doing this mentoring uh, to have entrepreneurship innovation and the startup activities 
and so many leadership talks are happening uh, from MHRD IAC cell, and everything uh, happens through online, and even we can conduct offline events. So, so many uh, online events are happening. So, this is a very good feature of uh, MHRD IAC and uh, NCET is IAC. And exclusive support programs for uh, uh, IAC's uh, uh, impact lecture scheme is there. Uh, exclusive support programs for uh, um, impact lecture scheme is available. So we can uh, adopt and we can go ahead with that. And uh, around the year, uh, guided activities. Uh, for example, uh, national level uh, uh, innovation contests are happening. Around the year, we can uh, adopt that culture and the students can submit their proposal and we can try to generate uh, prizes, awards, rewards and recognition, even fund also. And the same way, the, uh, the mentors or uh, uh, faculty members are guiding this uh, innovative uh, startup related projects definitely will get a recognition. So, around the clock, uh, around the year, uh, guiding and mentoring activities are happening through this MHRP IAC and NCT IAC that we need to uh, agree and understand. Uh, exclusive con uh, contest for students, national uh, innovation contest, it's nothing but uh, not in the hackathon already I highlighted. Uh, every student uh, can uh, participate in this uh, startup uh, and uh, innovation uh, national innovation contest and uh, can come up with uh, uh, good implementation work. So this is again a very good feature of uh, IAC and provides a, a, a national platform for establishing innovation and uh, entrepreneurship achievements of uh, all higher education institutions. This is also a very big uh, or very good and great feature of uh, uh, our MHRD IAC. All higher education students can express what and all the events, activities, courses, programs, what and all the startups, uh, innovation activity they are doing can be showcased through, uh, 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 through this uh, uh, MHRD innovation cell and they can have the ranking. It is nothing but uh, utter ranking of institutions uh, uh, innovation. It's, it's, it is called as uh, ARIA. So all this, whatever I mentioned, this five, six points are uh, the real facilities uh, through this uh, IAC. I hope uh, you understood what exactly the importance of uh, IAC and what, what exactly the features of I, uh, IAC of central level and uh, institutional level and uh, what and all the programs or uh, uh, the features they are offering. And uh, uh, if, if we see our uh, pr presentation, Aria, uh, Mark India Hackathon, Kapila, Yukti, I need to brief you what is this Kapila and what is this Yukti. I'll, uh, I'll brief you first Aria. We need to concentrate on uh, institutions innovation cell activity. If we do this institution's innovation activity in a very perfect way by uh, following proper disciplines, by following proper guidelines of uh, MHRD's IAC, definitely achieving this ARIA ranking or NARF ranking is definitely possible. And there are what we need to uh, uh, focus or in which area we need to concentrate means we need to concentrate on IPR, innovation, uh, startup, and entrepreneurship. So all these four domains or areas we need to concentrate and it, all these are coming directly under uh, research, development and extension activities of any institution. So uh, this is about uh, ARIA and a small idea hackathon three or four years before uh, it is initiated by HRD and now it is uh, directly dealt by, uh, dealt by uh, uh, institutions innovation cell, uh, MHRD's institution innovation cell facilitating all these uh, 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 Small India Hackathon related activities. There will be a separate nodal officer or uh, staff coordinator to deal with this activity. Uh, thousands and lakhs and crores of uh, proposals we can submit, and all our proposals, which we claim as an innovation or the startup proposals or business plan, will be scrutinized by the expert members and they'll try to. Uh, facilitate us uh, uh, level by level feedback. We can improve and we can submit the proposal next next level. And definitely, uh, the Smart India Hackathon is encouraging this uh, uh, students' innovation and startup and entrepreneurship policy. Uh, I, I I wanted to highlight a, a few uh, points here for startup to have entrepreneurship cell, uh, to have this innovation activity. Uh, to achieve this utter ranking of institution, institutions in 
and to have this uh, not india hackathon uh, uh, contest national level uh, student uh, uh, innovation contest and to achieve nir there are very clear guidelines uh, of this uh, inclusion innovation cell and they are rating uh, all the activities there are three different types of activities self driven activity where we can institution can conduct our own activity related to innovation idea entrepreneurship uh, design thinking and etc uh, we will be conducting our own innovation activity and we will give chance to other institution students staff industry experts researchers academicians can participate in that and they can benefit so uh, this is a, a very good highlight and for all this we have different policies framed and published by uh, mhr is uh, institute innovation cell uh, and we, we, where they have uh, representatives from uh, act ugc and other uh, uh, very, uh, important forums and uh, agencies are involved and they approved it every staff member every student can have their own companies uh, they can register their own companies and they can concentrate on this research development extension innovation and startup activities so all the policies and things where it is available i can give you at the end of this session uh, by showing you the policies and other things and what is this uh, kapila i need to uh, explain to you i hope you understood what is aria what is uh, students uh, uh, this uh, uh, smart india hackathon yukti again uh, uh, it is promoting uh, innovation activity uh, it is uh, uh, again uh, on very good initiative by this uh, ministry of education uh, innovation cell uh, collaborated with uh, ministry of education and act they are promoting this yukti now yukti 2.0 is uh, live and around the year they are collecting uh, uh, proposals and call for uh, uh, innovation proposals they are evaluating the innovation and they are shortlisting the uh, shortlisting the innovations uh, for funding and support uh, and mentorship and they are connecting the uh, incubators mentors and uh, mentors and uh, uh, and uh, funding uh, distributions happening through the uh, yukti initiative so uh, i request i take this opportunity and request all the staff members and students who are participating in this webinar to uh, promote and inform this uh, yukt in initiative to all your friends and make them to understand what exactly this initiative is and how we can take it up innovation and uh, related uh, projects and proposal how we can generate money and we need to understand this uh, kapila what is this kapila kapila is one more initiative see all this aria smart india hackathon kapila yukt and etc etc are facilitated by this uh, institutions innovation cell which is directly controlled by ministry of education along with uh, ugc and aict and other agencies which already i mentioned so what is this kapila kalam program for ip literacy and awareness so all this uh, ip literacy and awareness uh, programs are facilitated by this kalam program for ip literacy and awareness this is kapila so all your ip related awareness programs training programs uh, submission of proposal and all that is possible and uh, for example i'll brief you if you submit uh, from institution level if you submit uh, 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 we can submit uh, this uh, innovation related uh, projects through this uh, uh, kalam program for ip literacy and awareness program and we can whatever the money it is spent for filing our patent can be uh, reimbursed through this uh, uh, kapila so only thing there are some standards and uh, restrictions if we are satisfying the standards and restriction definitely uh, whatever the uh, uh, patent we are filing if it is worthy uh, this kapila program is uh, facilitating the uh, funding to all our uh, innovative projects uh, which we file as a patent uh, which we file uh, which is published and which is going to be granted will definitely will have this uh, uh, funding facility through this kapila program so uh, i hope you understood what is aria what is smart india hackathon what is kapila and what is ut and i'll brief you what exactly we can do i have some more uh, content to present so these are all the strategies uh, or these are all the again Uh, the constraints are areas where we need to concentrate strategies on and governance uh, 
startup enabling institutional infrastructure nurturing innovation and startup uh, product ownership rights for technologies development uh, institution and organizational capacity uh, uh, human resources and incentives and uh, creating innovation uh, pipeline and pathways for entrepreneurs at uh, institution level norms for faculty uh, startup see even though institution innovation uh, cell mhrd they facilitated this uh, startup policy we can also generate our own uh, startup policy and uh, our management our principal our innovation cell can facilitate uh, 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 startup policy for faculty so in this area also we can concentrate and pedagogy and learning uh, interventions for entrepreneurship development we need to uh, concentrate on collaboration uh, co creation business relationships and uh, knowledge exchange areas also we need to focus on and uh, entrepreneurial impact assessment also we need to concentrate so all these are uh, the core areas where our institute, institute innovation cell should uh, concentrate by involving students and staff members so there are different uh, definitions and uh, technology terms uh, are available i can share you the ppt and you can uh, you can understand what is what relate uh, what is what uh, to understand and to explore and to implement things there are guidelines for uh, uh, different best practices startup policy uh, for students and how to participate in smart idea hackathon and what are all the uh, regulations to uh, participate in that so all these norms and policies are available so that we can uh, uh, explore uh, through the uh, through the uh, uh, published norms of uh, iics mhrd's iics so i will share one more uh, one more uh, good website Professor Balaji, are you able to see my? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, this is uh, the innovations, uh, uh, innovation cell, uh, MIT's uh, uh, website. Here, if you see all the policies, all the policies are uh, downloadable, and uh, you can uh, go through these policies, and you can very well understand what is what. And for clarification. we showed the deans are available you can uh, come and meet us we'll review what is what and what and all the uh, initiatives it is see this is the statistics which i briefed you and uh, these are all the features of uh, uh, institutions innovation cell and why we need to establish or who can establish and all those uh, programs and schemes for iic uh, 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 especially for institutions and this is about iic so you can uh, you can download all this uh, all this uh, guidelines and you can understand what is what so all this uh, downloadable even if you search in uh, google also all this policies will come mentor mentee and all these schemes are available through this innovation uh, cell website so i hope uh, i had briefed you what is what what is innovation cell what exactly the uh, mhrd is uh, innovation cells uh, role and responsibility or how they are facilitating institutions innovation cell and things so again i would like to thank all our uh, coordinators institutions innovation cell coordinators uh, president uh, institution innovation uh, uh, and industry interaction cell head uh, Education uh, cell and other HPs and uh, principal and management for absolutely the chance to present this uh, present this uh, uh, webinar. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for uh, sharing information about the area, Siha, Kapila, and Dipti activities of IIC. Why we need IIC and uh, nicely understood the importance of IIC. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. I now request Mr. Balaji sir to present the vote of thanks. Yes, ma'am. Uh, good morning, all. Uh, I deem it a great honor to propose vote of thanks to all who are present here and made this webinar a successful one. 
on behalf of uh, management ncet principal ncet iic and iqac i take this opportunity to express my deep gratitude uh, to the management and the principal dr uh, jitendranath mungara for uh, their constant support and motivation in all our activities i express my deep gratitude to mr uh, ranjan manish sir head triple i and innovation cell for supporting uh, us in all our activities and accepting our invitation and delivering keynote address for today's webinar thank you sir thank you dr mohan kumar sir for your wonderful lecture and we are going to yeah yeah cover all important meaningful regarding aspects of uh, the quality assurance cell about iac and all other things we learned a lot of things from you today thank you very much sir Thank you, sir. I thank, thank you, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I thank Dr. Mohan Kumar, sir, Dean QA, for accepting to be the resource person for today's webinar and extending his uh, support in all our activities. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Professor Malaji, I would like to thank uh, uh, Ranjan Mani, sir, uh, Yashwant, and yourself for conducting uh, all these uh, IIT related activities. Please upload all the uh, reports and uh, activity details in our. Uh, iic portal and try to achieve uh, fast rating and please involve more uh, students into this uh, iic cell and please uh, try to take all the uh, inputs and guidelines from all the doctoral and uh, assistant and associate professor who are available even uh, all the professors who are available in uh, science engineering and management department and try to facilitate uh, Uh, our uh, institutions innovation cell uh, activities in a high end and i would like to uh, intimate one more thing uh, 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 global level we are at uh, uh, at the status 48th uh, status i think so our ministry uh, of uh, education through this innovation cell they are trying to uh, come up or trying to be in a top position so as a institution uh, innovation cell of uh, member of uh, in, uh, our ncet uh, we need to support our central uh, iic and uh, we need to support our uh, 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 india to uh, top innovation entrepreneurship and uh, startup and other related activities thank you very much thank you sir yeah. and i thank all the uh, hods and staff of various departments coordinators of iic and for their uh, full support and uh, cooperation in making this uh, webinar possible and finally but not least i thank all the participants for uh, actively participating and making this uh, webinar successful one thank you thank you one and all thank you thank you thank you professor balaji thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you for the wonderful participation and encouragement and active involvement wish you all the best thank you sir thank you